Now that a lot of people have started opening their Black Friday slash Cyber Monday slash Cyber Week slash Holiday packs and boosted boxes, we get a better understanding of how much product is out there. To summarize, there is probably more of this product than Eternal Masters, the first one. And we don't know if we're going to get a second round because it is selling very well in Walmart in Target. Well, no. Yeah, I think it's in Target too. But I definitely saw it in Walmart. I need to go to Target later today, so I'll see if I can see it in Target. It is astounding that a master product is being sold at a big box, also a supermarket apparently. And it is more concerning to me that people are not really discussing the ramifications of it. The ramifications are cheaper cards for all players, which is great. I am fully supportive of putting this product in Walmart. You can't have it both ways. I've seen the same person make two different arguments. One argument is, oh, stores are just destroying you with uh, too much being too greedy and getting too much value from these. And then, oh, you know, these are killing the stores. You have to kind of say what you want. If you want cheap cards, then Walmart is the solution. It is the solution to cheap everything in life. Because Walmart will, they will hold Wizard of the Coast's hand and just beat them with a, a cheapness stick. You know, sell us this product for pennies. Sell us it for pennies. And the Cliff Bar story is a very good, and I think I've mentioned it before, but Cliff Bar used to be all about like really quality pro products. Now, it's still a good product that I eat and my coworkers, we eat it every time, like when we're traveling. Like uh, Dallas, we're going to Saturday, and sat this Saturday, we're going to Dallas. But it used to taste a lot better because the products used to be better. But in order to uh, please the Walmart lords, they had to give in. And that is the same with Wizards of the Coast. Eventually, I knew they had to do it. So the product of cards, single cards, will be epically low. We will never see product this low again until the next time Walmart carries it. Walmart is carrying Unstable. Their website is carrying it for pre-order. I don't think there's going to be any future products that are going to be exclusive to local game stores. Mainly, it's a financial decision. They can sell a lot more in Walmart. And not only are they selling magic cards in Walmart, the most important key here is they sell everything in Walmart. Transformers, My Little Pony, every Monopoly, any of its IP, Hasbro's, you know, beautiful IP is sold at Walmart. And why would Magic the Gathering be any different? It would not be. So my point is... This is the line in the sand. This is the line where, just like RTR, from RTR on, there will never be a box that is valuable. Just no. No. There will never be a box to hit $400 from a regular standard box. If you look at, if you purchase original Ravnica, yeah, you get there because supply is low, demand is high, and it's a great set. RTR is just as a great of a set, in my opinion. Demand is kind of high because of Shocklands. The power level is extremely high. But here we have one big problem. And the problem is too much of it. Just too much of it. You know, RTR was the first box that Walmart started carrying. The box. You could buy a physical box, like a 36-pack sealed box at Walmart. They, they had special displays for this. So I'm not shocked that that was the line in the sand. Now, this is the line in the sand. I mean, what's left from the vault? I mean, yeah, I guess that's nice. But every time like it releases, I see, see them on eBay. Nothing is sacred anymore for game stores. Like, what are they going to do? Sell their FNM promos? They don't have any FNM promos. They only have tokens. So quite interesting to see the evolution. Uh, I've always said that if you want the cheapest card and that's all you care about, then Walmart, this should be a victory for you because these prices indicate that these prices are very clear indication this is the cheapest route to get cards. 
just put them in every Walmart and you're good to go. But if you want a community, if you want um, a growing local game scene, this is probably not the route to do. Anyway, that is it. Bye, guys.